Welcome back everyone. Now that we have created our reusable form controls, the next step is to create a few forms using those form controls. This will help you understand how easy it is to create any form once you have the form controls in place. Apart from reusing the controls, I also want to touch on a few validation rules which will also give you an idea of what the Yup library is capable of. Alright, in this video, we are going to create a very simple login form. The form will have two fields, email and password. For the validations, we will make sure email is required and of the right format. The password field is required as well. Let's go back to VS Code and implement this login form with the forming controls we have implemented. In the components folder, I'm going to create a new file called loginform.js. Within this file, I'm going to use the snippet rfce to create a function component. Now, we can go about implementing the form one step at a time. Now, this video is sort of a revision of everything we have learned so far. So I'm not going to explain in detail every part of the code but I will talk about the code if it's something new. For our first step, we begin by making all the necessary imports. Let me quickly copy paste them. So we import formic and form components, the yup library and the formic control component. Next, we go about declaring the different props for the formic component. First, initial values. So const initial values is going to be equal to an object where we have two properties, email whose initial value is an empty string and password, again, initial value is an empty string. Next, we have the validation schema. So const validation schema is going to be equal to yep, dot object and we specify the rules. Email is going to be yup.string and we need the proper format for which we say dot email and the error message would be invalid email format and we also need this field to be required with the error message required. For password we just have the one validation which is required. So yep dot string dot required with the error message required. And the last prop is the on submit method. So const on submit. The method gets access to the form values and we simply log that to the console. Form data is values. All right, now that we have the props, our final step is to add the JSX. We are going to return the formic component. To this component, we pass in the three props that we have just defined. So initial values is going to be equal to initial values. Validation schema is going to be equal to validation schema. And finally, on submit, is going to be equal to on submit. Once we have specified the props, we then use the render props pattern. So within the opening and closing tags, curly braces and function as children. We get access to the formic props and we return the form component. Within the form component, we make use of our reusable formic control to render the email and password fields. So formic control, the first field is the email field. So control is equal to input because we need a text input field. Type is equal to email. Label is equal to email. And finally, name is equal to email. Similarly, we have the password field as well. So this again is a formic control and the control is input. 
type is equal to password label is equal to password and name is equal to password finally at the bottom before closing the form tag we add our submit button button submit is the text type is equal to submit we're going to have disabled is equal to not formic dot is valid and that completes our login form nothing out of the ordinary or nothing we haven't learned i felt that this is a good starting point to practice i'm going to format the code save the file and in app.js include this instead of form container so login form in app.js and save the file let's head to the browser and test this out on page load we have the form with two fields and the submit button if i try submit validation kicks in and the submit button gets disabled i enter a wrongly formatted email and the validation rule works again enter valid values and the validation messages disappear. Submit it, and you can see the values logged in the console. Our login form works as expected. I hope you guys are getting a sense of how easy it is to create forms with Formic and the reusable Formic control component we have created. In the next video, let's take a look at a slightly more complex form, which is the registration form. I'll see you guys in the next one.